Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your love reading for February. Hello, I'm Amber. So this is actually your second one. The first one will be linked um, at the end on the little click it tabs. Um, so if you're interested, check that out. So we are going to jump right in. This will probably be a second story, an extension of the first or just a message you need to know. So Cancer, let's start with these cards. Cancer, second story for February. I feel like if you're in some sort of dilemma with someone um you need to get to know them as friends again you know st stop trying to love them or have them love you and start trying to become friends uh, and have some kind of common ground this is so you can build really good foundations for a relationship to actually flourish Yeah, don't focus on the relationship so much as uh, as building friendships, okay? Yeah, I feel like this person um, needs to build with you because... So this is a person that's doing things for their own life. So they are their own concern, really. And they don't want to make another person their concern, hence you or a relationship. So this is a good time to build something with this person, get to know them better. Um, keep it under the radar because you don't want to push them too hard. Okay, so we're going to do thoughts, feelings. And actions. I'm going to put all the cards down. I've been doing that lately. And I like it. So I'll keep doing it. We're going to do our uprights too. <clears throat> okay, Cancer. Hmm. So I feel like you're ready to move forward into a love relationship because you kind of are being drawn towards someone like they have your attention. Um, I feel like you're watching this person because it feels like you're not quite sure. It's like entering something because you want to and it's moving along, but also being hesitant and paying attention, right? I feel like you want to see if things can develop, if it's going to be healthy for you mentally or not. That's that's what I see you doing here. Um really like nitpicking or getting through the the weeds with this relationship to see how it's going to cultivate or if it is there is a bit of a wait and I feel like you feel it you're like waiting but you're also investigating it doesn't seem like it bothers you that much um it's more about you wanting to be sure okay you're dealing with a person I said that's going through some sort of spiritual enlightenment in their life they're really like going towards things that make them happy or things that are worth mm, placing in their life. So that's where their, their mindset is. So they are easily mm, influenced to push things away. So that's why it's, it's like, take your time on this one, be friends, build a relationship because I see, mm, I see them pushing back a little bit. Like they need time. 
I feel like you're anxious to also get an answer from this person. Um, your heart is very open to them. You really care about this person, okay? They could have lied to you in the past or hurt you in the past, or you're just afraid of being hurt by this person. But I see your heart being very open, which is why you're taking your time with it. You don't want to miss an opportunity, Cancer. And I see I see you moving forward towards something more committed, but it's going to take some time to get there. You're in the process of building with this person, okay? So don't give your all too quickly because of love. Because you don't want to knock down your will to push forward right now, okay? For them, um, love is kind of secondary. Not you, just love in general. They're, they're really focused on achieving their dreams and having like this all-out balance in their entire life and not just their love life. And they don't want to be hurt. They may have simultaneously been hurt by you as well in the past, right? Um, so there's a little bit of uh, pushback from the both of you when it comes to emotions. And that's why they're easy to push things away. But they are on the, the they are in the process of healing, which opens up their mind more because they want to be balanced and they're more spiritually connecting. So they are taking their time and they're trying to build a better future for themselves. But everything is a weight to them. Everything is a process. This person is not in the mood to jump into anything. They want to take things slow. They want to watch out for things like that. Okay. Um, yeah, they're more on a spiritual path and you're more on, um, being empowered within yourself and love. <laughs> it's like, those are the two things that you're focusing on with those chakra cards being there. Okay. Honor your inner child. Focus on your inner child needs. Is your inner child afraid or in need of playtime? Cherish this precious being within you. Okay. Yeah, this is about being friends again, being lighthearted, learning about each other again, uh, lightening up, not being so serious. It's kind of like falling in love again mutually. That's what needs to happen. That's what's happening here. Um, you do want to make sure that you're, I feel like I want to say this, Cancer, um, your personal power. It may have felt like this person took it away from you before or hurt your self-esteem in some way. And you're trying to maintain that by taking it slow as well. Um, and so are they, but for a different reason. They just want balance in their whole life. And them getting balance in their life actually helps you because they can see things in a more, in a different mindset, in a more optimistic way and be more eager to see other perspectives inside the, besides their own. Okay. So Cancer, I love you so much and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.